Hey there. So now we get into the uh, heavy construction, right? Right, exactly. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of backstory. This is the setup for Night, Death, and the Devil by Fred Dzerzhevsky. And uh, I think there's kind of a lot to tell here, so I'll try to go quickly. Um, he, he wrote the, the piece. The percussion writing was, was written really on a, a, a discarded, very old steel bathtub that he found in Brussels. He, I think, found it in an alley and, and dragged it up the stairs and started messing around on it. Uh, in the piece, there's no dramatic significance for a bathtub, so I didn't, <laughs> uh, that's kind of You didn't irrelevant. feel the need to like find one and ship it all over the country. Yeah, yeah. and I wasn't opposed to it, but, but when you are touring yeah. from venues, uh, between venues around the country, there are real logistical inhib uh, th uh, inhibitions. And so, um, so we had to negotiate a little bit on the setup. And what he asked for in the part there were high, medium, and low sounds, and some growling sounds, and, and rubbing, and, and some other things. And so I had to find a way to do that while we're traveling, and, and the bathtub wasn't uh, very realistic. Mm -hmm. It would have been <laughs> overnight shipping of a bathtub and sorts of things like that. So, so what I came up with was to use some garbage cans instead. They're pretty easy to order, just your Oscar or the Grouch. Grouch yeah, I think uh, I had the, the big garbage can they, yeah, yeah, they, in my last apartment. Pretty easy to find. So <laughs> I, I, I bring a couple of the small ones. Um, and, and like in your carry-on? Yeah, I chuck them in a drum case. Okay. There's a drum case, but no drum in the case, just lots of supplies. Um, I have a drill with me because when I get to a venue and they, they have the garbage cans waiting for me, I have to drill some holes in them to get them ready to hang on this rack. We bring the rack in a ski case, and the airlines never have a problem with that either. That's another little logistical footnote, I guess. Mm -hmm. So uh, I figured out kind of a way to, to make, I found all the sounds that he was looking for in the score, on this kind of funny setup. Um, so, and tell me why you uh, have these goggles right, over safety here. Safety goggles. And <laughs> well, if you're looking at the the Durr uh, engraving that he based the piece on, uh, he he spent a lot of time with that work when he was writing the piece, and really everything in it does relate in somehow in his own mind. To uh, he's not trying to tell a narrative or a story in the performance, but but every every musical event, everything is very significant in some res some regard. Uh, so w one of the moments in the performance, I have to smash some plates, and the instruction in the score is uh, smash plates on the floor, and um, this actually refers to a very specific incident many many years ago where he got very very upset in a certain situation and, 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 and was living in Italy and took a, lar a sort of a large, beautiful serving platter and just smashed it on the tile floor of this uh, place that he was living at at the time in, in Italy somewhere. And that moment, uh, that, that, that sort of uh, being overwhelmed by anger, that moment mm -hmm. really stuck with mm -hmm. him. And, and for him, that the idea is that there are times when you become so angry that you can uh, sort of lose reason and 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 for him that's the devil sort of taking over i'm interested though that you say that because in the concert the other night a lot of people can't help sort of reacting to that by like mm -hmm. laughing they get yeah. uncomfortable with it they're kind of like this that's is right. silly right. so i mean given that it has such a serious sort of backstory yeah. how does that feel you know it's okay yeah we, i've had concerns about this before there's another performance we had where there's a very serious moment of choreography that we do in a different production and we get nervous laughter from the audience. Mm -hmm. And I talked to uh, an actor about, uh, a collaborator of ours actually, uh, an actor and singer named Rindy Eckert. And he said that that's really kind of Pavlovian. That's, yeah. it's sort of when we are not sure what to do, we have that nervous laughter. That's, that's a, a very normal reaction. And he said, it's not something to be bothered by. It, it, it means that um, a message is getting across, they're being affected and it's, so it's okay. That's really interesting. But it, I think it is, I don't, you know, I think it is intended to be a sort of a serious moment. But things, you know, come across differently on different nights. Yeah. There was, that's another, actually, that was another thing in the score that I had to sort of negotiate with uh, Zhevsky that uh, I can't, I couldn't reasonably walk into venues and smash plates on their stages. <laughs> have classical everywhere. Yeah. Um, and so that was another reason to go with the garbage cans, actually, or at least. Oh, because it contains it. I throw the, I smash the plates into the garbage can, and it, and it contains it fairly well. And uh, so, so it makes that moment possible, whereas otherwise it might have had to get, you know, sort of mixed in the score. Yeah, great. Yeah. 
well, thanks a lot for talking with us about this. i had a great time. great.